All right, guys, I guess I'm live right now. So, just making sure this thing's working. Didn't do any uh, any kind of test run, so. Um, just got this new mouse in, Hydrogen, uh, Atom Palm Hydrogen. Been seeing a lot of, um, a lot of information about quality control issues. So, I haven't opened it up yet, but I've been maining the uh, Razer V2 Pro. Uh, 8K and I forget what this the Nijutsu Origin 1X. I've been uh, messing with that, and also the uh, Viper, the old the old Viper. Anyway, so I've been hearing a lot about this um, about this mouse and how there's quality control problems. Give me one second here. There we go. Sorry, I, I had to fix my mic. I really didn't even test the stream before I went live here. So um, this is the hydrogen mouse. Uh, I haven't opened it up yet. Give me one second here. Let me get, get this plastic wrap off. I'm surprised it actually came with plastic wrap. Seeing it's such a small company, but here we go. All right. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's open this thing up and see if the quality control issues are as bad as everyone says it is. I did spend hundred and six dollars shipped on this mouse, so I'm a little worried I wasted my money. We'll see how it goes. All right, so open the box up. Here you go. You get this um, small piece of paper that tells you re regulatory information, but that's a waste of time. So anyway, here we go. Now, I waited like what about eighteen months to two years for this mouse, so. Uh, you know, I had to buy it, right? So here it is. The cable is, it's thin, but it is not a, any kind of paracord cable that you would get with a, a gaming mouse company. Uh, so here, all right, let me set this to the side. I mean, the box is actually pretty nice. Uh, believe it or not, the box is pretty cool. Nice box, but all right. So here's the mouse. I haven't pressed any buttons yet, or you know, shook it or anything like that to see what the the cord, the mouse cord seems seems pretty long, which is kind of unusual. But maybe an extra, maybe an extra foot or two feet from what I'm used to. I could be wrong about that because I don't I don't use a lot of corded mice much anymore. But anyway. So first look, here it is. Uh, the quality, just me looking at it, looks like... Uh, it looks like a, a 3D printed mouse. You know, uh, a high quality 3D printed mouse. Um, so that's basically... That's basically where it is. It, I mean, it's it's smooth. I'm not sure if you've ever 3D printed anything or, or not, but it has that kind of like texture on the side. But I could be wrong about how they make this. But let me let me check the here. Let me see if I can get the clicks on here. Okay, so one of the early shorts I saw on YouTube was a guy who was just pressing the mouse like this and getting some sound out you know some, some like bounce out of it and to be fair let me hear sure there there's definitely some kind of bounciness to that i'm not so sure it's going to affect how i play with the play games with the mouse but um it's real wheel i would say it's good Clicks are good. Swirl wheel is about about average. 
I mean, it's definitely not as good as the the Viper. The, I mean, sorry, the uh, V2 Pro, but it isn't. It isn't as bad as I thought it would be. Um, you kind of a look at it. Let me see if I can get this just right. Um, kind of a look at it here. It is. It does appear to be metal esque. I'm not so sure if it's metal or some kind of plastic, but it's pretty nice. So, anyway, one thing I'm not I'm not excited about is the cord because the cord is very thin and I guess it's more it's out of the way but it's not like it's not like this cord here this is the uh, 8k Viper it's not like this it's uh, I think what else I can do here the side buttons okay okay the side buttons mmm mmm -mm. okay here listen to this Well, there's definitely a definitive press Yeah, so they're kind of hard to press in. I just don't know. So, so my final feelings about this mouse Without actually using it yet, as far as on the computer, the build quality I would give it a. I mean, the here, here's the the V2 Pro. There is no no rattle with that. Here's the. Okay, so that's doesn't. There's the Viper. Here's the Origin One X. That, those are the the buttons. Yeah, so the build quality, I'd give it a 5 out of 10. The main buttons are fine. The main buttons are fine. I have no problem with that. The The scroll wheel's fine. The press of the scroll wheel's fine. DPI button. I mean, as long as you don't use that for a for like an in-game type quick press, that'll be fine. The side buttons side buttons are trash I mean I hate to say that but I mean when you're used to this I mean that responsive feedback I mean you can press that really quick right well with this thing I mean it's like it's very difficult to press in comparatively to any other mouse I mean I I, I just tested four four mice here and none of them are even close to this this tension on this on this side button here. Yeah, so overall I'd say I probably wasted my money on this. $106, $106 shipped. <sighs> Let me see if it's serial if it, if I have a low serial here. I do. Yeah. I'm in top one hundred looks like as far as the serial, but that doesn't mean anything. It is light. Actually, you know what? Let me get the let me get my scale. Let me get my scale. We'll see how much it weighs. One second. It was a little bit dusty. It's been sitting around. So, anyway, you you can you can see the weight. Hold on, let me do the right. There we go. So here it goes. I think it's supposed to be like like 47 grams or 45 grams. I don't know. Let's let's see what it is. Forty-seven grams. Okay, we'll take it. Uh, just for comparison, this is the uh, V2 Pro Viper. Let's check it out. Fifty-eight. Here's the old Viper. 
76 heavy okay origin 1x which i, just, I like the, the uh, shape of this mouse that's why it's on my desk 66 viper 8k just for just for fun 72 anyway so let's give it one more shot one more shot 48 okay best out of three best out of three 47 okay we'll take 47 so there you go 47 47 grams I would say if you want uh, if you want to waste a hundred dollars then go ahead and buy it but if you're going to plan on using the side buttons for anything like building in Fortnite waste the time not going to happen it's the buttons are just too stiff so anyway you guys uh, drop your your questions in the chat if you'd like and I will definitely uh, definitely try to answer them I, I haven't actually used the mouse yet so I just wanted to get a quick look at this and overall I'd say well, you know I didn't I did not talk about the mouse feet the mouse feet look as far as it being rounded I feel like the the v2 pro are definitely rounded off and it, I wouldn't say I would not I would say they're probably not rounded as far as you know, compared to the V2 Pro, now I don't, I don't think they're rounded feet, but they don't feel bad. Yeah, I mean the the Origin One X are definitely rounded, but um, it doesn't feel bad. This mouse pad I'm using on is the uh, MP510 XL, I believe. So um, kind of a kind of a fast pad, but it feels fine. It feels fine. Anyway, I'm gonna plug it in and get some use out of it and see if see if I can have any more comments about it. I just uh I don't know if I'll be able to play Fortnite with it because the side buttons are just I mean it's like I mean it's 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 just kinda sad. I guess maybe I could swap them out for a different switch, but anyway. So far, the the, uh, the biggest complaint of this mouse, even with this cheap cable, it's definitely going to be the side buttons. Because everything else feels pretty solid. I mean, there's a rattle, but I think it's just the... Hold a minute. I'm going to hold all the buttons in. So it's not the buttons. It's something else in the mouse. And it's not the, the scroll wheel. Who knows? That doesn't bother me too bad. But the side buttons are definitely going to be something I'm going to have to uh, either get used to, which is probably not going to happen, or probably just have this thing sit on my desk and probably use it just to browse the internet or play games that don't require side buttons. So anyway, if you guys have any questions, drop them in the chat, and um, I'll see if I can make an, a follow-up video regarding the, you know, the you know two or three weekend quality of it at that point. It's, apparently they're hand making these as far as like uh, assembling them by hand so over, overall I'd say it's okay for that kind of mouse but yeah we'll see how it goes anyway drop those questions in the chat and I'll see if I can respond to some of them and uh, you guys have a good night